Under some conditions, mutually exclusive projects with unequal lives present a potential ranking problem. For example, the firm may be deciding whether to accept Project X, which has an expected duration of two years, or Project Y, with a three-year lifespan. The main issue with the lifespan mismatch arises from the comparability problem in the third year, where the two-year Project X has ceased to exist, while Project Y is still productive. Such situations are a problem when there is expected to be a continuous replacement chain for the projects. This means that the firm will need to replace each project as it ends with an identical one. If, for example, the firm accepts two-year Project X, it will need to start a new Project X at the end of year two, another one at the end of year four, and so on. If the firm instead decided on the three-year Project Y, the replacements would be at T3, T6, and so on. There are two ways to rank such projects. In the first method, the lowest common multiple of the different projects is identified. For a two-year project and a three-year project, the lowest common multiple is six years, and this becomes the project horizon for both projects. Each project is then assumed to be replaced as many times as is necessary in the six-year horizon. The net present values of the equal length six-year project chains can now be validly compared with each other. The second method is more elegant. In the equivalent annual annuity approach, only the first link in each project replacement chain is considered. The net present value of each of these single link project chains is calculated and then this is converted into an equivalent annual annuity. Because these annuities are annual, they can then be validly compared with each other. Let's look at an example. We stay with two-year project X and three-year project Y, adding some detail to these two mutually exclusive replacement chain projects. Both projects cost 100,000 Rand. Project X is expected to generate cash flows of 50,000 Rand and then 70,000 Rand over two years. Project Y's three-year cash inflows will be 30,000 Rand, then 40,000 Rand, and finally 60,000 Rand. The weighted average cost of capital is 10%. For the first method, you set up a timeline of six years, which is the lowest common multiple of the two-year lifespan of Project X and the three years for Project Y. Then fill in the cash flows for the first link of the replacement chain for both X and Y. The next step is to complete each timeline up to T6. For Project X, which ends at T2, a new project must be started immediately at a cost of 100,000 Rand. Notice that the negative 100 needs to be entered at T2 which means that the combined cash flow at this point becomes negative 30. Following this, the new project's cash inflows are entered at T3 and T4, shown in red. A third iteration of Project X then starts at T4, shown in blue. Notice that the lowest common multiple is reached at T6, so there is no new project cost at this point. For Project Y, there is only one replacement point in the six-year horizon. The principles are the same as before, paying attention to the combination cash flow at T3 and the fact that there is no new Project Y cost at T6. The net present value can now be calculated for both Project X and Y over the six-year horizon for both, using the weighted average cost of capital of 10%. The higher NPV is Project Y, which is the one that should be selected by the financial manager. The equivalent annual annuity method is carried out in two steps. Firstly, you calculate the NPV of just the first link 
in the replacement chain. This means that the timeline for project X is two years long and for Y it is three years. Next, you use the NPV for each project as the present value of an equal annual cash inflow for a two-year project in the case of project X and three years for Y. Using the TVM functionality of your financial calculator, you solve for the payment, given the relevant present value, time period, and a discount rate of 10% for both. The project with the higher equivalent annual annuity is the one that should be selected. In closing, we note that the selected project, although based on a different method and using different numbers, results in a decision that is fully consistent with the one that we made using the lowest common multiple approach method.